Hi, this is just a update on my first solar project, which is a manual hybrid, uh, which was about eight or nine months ago. Let's start. So, first of all, I bought a fire, al fire alarm. At Ace, it's about 325 pesos, so it's nice to have. At least there's safety, something <laughs> caught fire. So, let's start with the panels. 400 watts connected to this one. It's two pieces of 200 watt generic mono panels uh, connected in parallel. So it's about 40 volts working. And this is four pieces of 250 watt polycrystalline Jinko solar panels, they're tier one, all connected in series. Working voltage is about 120 volts. Connected to it in parallel is a DC SPD surge protection device. This is going to ground. So currently both are connected to two solar charge controllers. This is the old one. So the 1000 watt panels is connected to it. And the 400 watt is connected currently to this one. And both of them are actually connected to one battery back. It's four pieces of six volt 225H Trojan T105RE batteries. So my battery bank now is 24 volt system. Uh, then it's currently being powered through batteries. Let me show you. So that's the batteries. It's actually going upstairs. It's on the second floor. And the batteries are now powering the grid die inverter with limiter. This one, this is the 1000 watt uh, grid die inverter with limiter. Its working voltage is 22 to 65, so a 24 battery bank works with it. And then this is the version 1 limiter. So it's currently the utility is only 12 watts. Inverter is producing 8 to 7 watts from the batteries. So it's pretty cloudy, but I was able to fully charge a while ago so the 400 watt panels is only producing 23 watts well the 1000 watts is only producing 84 watts so an update would be i installed this ac surge protection device as well because i had an incident on the other house where a surge fried lcd tv and the 2000 watt grid die inverter with limiter so might as well protect this one as well so i installed this today so it's connected to ground as well and then it's connected in parallel to a time delay device so this when the power goes off and goes back on again it provides one minute time delay it also provides over and under voltage protection it cuts it off it's above 270 volts and below 270 volts it cuts it, cuts it off as well so it's connected to an electromechanical relay uh, i used to use the ssr but when on the other house the ssr failed it is normally short, so normally close. So it had the potential to over discharge the batteries. So this electrical mechanical relay is connected to another one. So it's in parallel with another electromagnetic mechanical relay. Oh, so that's an SSR. This solar charge controller acts as a low voltage disconnect. So I can control the depth of discharge of the battery so it, i don't discharge, over discharge it so it's currently set at 12 volts or 30 percent dod and i installed fans so to keep it cool but the fans is controlled by this solar charge controller because when this cuts it off the output of the off-grid inverter and the grid die inverter is cut off so i'm cutting off the ac side of it so during charging i don't want this fan to go off so i connected the fans here so it's separate so i turn it off on schedule during the day it turns on and when i'm at, at night it turns off so the off-grid convert off-grid component is this is already a 24 volt inverter the original was a 12 volt i had it swapped so it had a problem so bright point was kind enough to swap a 24 volt instead but it's still 1000 watt so it's connected to the battery as well connected to the ssr its output so i could cut it off automatically 
Then it goes to this MTS. I have two MTS lights and outlets, basically light and heavy loads. That's about it. That's the update. Thank you.